Hey, this is Anthony Threbsol TV. You can watch this side and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Speedy Carbo One gloves available at Revzilla.com. Speedy Carbo One, it's going to be a sport-oriented full glove, the baby brother to the Carbo Three, which will be a little bit more leather, get the Kevlar reinforcement, and get you to the track. Now, for that $50 improvement, I'm gonna tell you that if you're looking full gauntlet in that $200 range, I suggest you make that step up into that Carbo Three. I like that glove better depending on what you're looking to do with it, but again, a lot of guys going into that full gauntlet approach are looking to do the race or track day thing. Keep that in mind. But for what it is, just under the $200 mark, the Carbo One giving you full coverage. You're a mixture of cowhide, you have a mixture of goat skin, and again, you're getting those sport and aggressive street riding basics that are inspired from the track. Now, four colors available. This is my white and black, and keep in mind sizing. I'm actually wearing a size large, so it fits a little bit more American than I was expecting even from an Italian manufacturer. So again, I wear a large in your first gears, in your Icon. I typically wear a Euro size XL in a lot of the Euro manufacturers. This bad boy comes in as a large, no problem, and it is gonna break in about 10%. Keep that in mind because it is all leather. Now, if you're concerned about fit, remember we're gonna ship for free over 39 bucks. And as always, click our logo right up there. Do it, click it, and leave me your comments, your questions, your feedback on our YouTube tape page after you subscribe, but more importantly, stay up to date with our gear reviews. Now, if we dive back into some of the nuances here, you're gonna see lightly padded, full cuff going all the way down. Notice it's perforated. Speedy logo working its way in. I like the direction Speedy's gone with a lot of their designs. They're definitely improving over time. As we move into the back of the hand, nice raised area of dense foam. It's gonna be lightly perforated, leaving me to my my cuff. Now, this is a classic style carbon fiber protector. We've seen this type of protector on many gloves from many manufacturers. But the nice part about it is it is not low profile. It actually has those raised edges, so those points are going to create less surface area. So if you happen to go down on your knuckle, you're going to slide a little bit easier. Moving into the fingers, dual layers of leather. Remember, this is all cowhide, and you're going to have mid digital raised points, which are going to be a dense foam, kind of keeping you an addition, giving you an additional area of shock absorption. Now, if you look at the first two fingers, really your hook fingers, for when you're working your controls, they're gonna have an additional area of flexibility. And you can look at the pre-curve of the hand. It's not your overly aggressive race pre-curve. I'm gonna call it a sport pre-curve. And remember, here being that it is a mixture of goat and cowhide throughout, it is gonna break in about 10%. Now, if we move over to the thumb, basic, another area of raised dense foam. Would have loved to have seen an elasticated panel on the thumb. They actually chose you to give you another area of dense foam that's worked in there. And then when you move into the palm, again, we're gonna see it's just basics here. Goat skin, reinforced area in the control of the hand, and then it gets into Clarino, which is synthetic suede. I would like to see them beef this up for the $200 mark with this glove. I'd like to see a leather out seam. That's when you have to go up into that Carbo 3. They're giving you the Clarino, which captures that seam, but again, Clarino synthetic suede is not the same recipe as what you typically see from your cowhide or your goat skin in a high impact area. Again, my two cents, it's what I'd like to see them improve. Moving down here though, I do like that they give you an area of raised foam on the out seam, again in line with that lateral or low side pr crash protection area, and they give you a nice raise at the bottom of the thumb, again that scaphoid area. Moving into your dual cuff, remember not a race glove, so you're going to have a dual cuff here, you have your wrist adjuster which doesn't have a cover, and then you're going to have a single cuff down here towards the bottom that's going to allow you to work it into your leathers depending on how you like to ride or what jacket you're wearing. On the outside, it's just gonna be basic. And if you look at the cuff here as you rotate around, there's a light padding on the top of the hand. It's gonna be all leather on the bottom of the hand. And again, a little bit of light padding here working up the out seam as well. Remember, the Carbo 3 is your step up. It's definitely the track glove you need to get to the track. This is gonna be your Carbo 1. And again, it's gonna be much more sport oriented from Speedy. But again, from a style standpoint, four colors available. It's aggressive, it's gonna match your leathers. It's a nicely done, you know, two to three season warm weather option for aggressive street riding. The next step in your journey is to click right here, read other rider reviews of the new Speedy Carbo One, available at Revzilla.com. You don't have to take my word for it. As always, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks. And if you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at Revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember, subscribe to me at Revzilla TV, our YouTube channel. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.